For many years, scientists have been working to build a full-fledged quantum computer that is all about taking computing to the next level, which would overpower any conventional supercomputer. Today, IBM has made its aspirations more concrete by unveiling an advanced quantum processor that is part of an effort to build super-fast computers and promises a 400-qubit processor this year as well as a 1,000-qubit quantum computer a milestone by 2023. This video will explore IBM's insane breakthrough and its real-world applications. In a classical computer, data is stored and processed in bits, represented by either a zero or a one. But in quantum computers, qubits can not only be in a zero or one state, but a superposition of both simultaneously. The more qubits, the more computing power, and the more possibilities. IBM's quantum computer journey started with a 5-qubit quantum computer on the cloud called Quantum Experience and led to the Eagle chip that began in 2016. Since then, the company has released a succession of chips with increasing numbers of qubits, all named after birds, each with its own set of technological challenges. IBM claims it has created the world's largest superconducting quantum computer that is 127 qubit which is over double the size of comparable machines made by Google and the University of Science and Technology of China, and allows for nearly two times as much computing power as the previous record holders. Previous devices have demonstrated up to 60 superconducting qubits working together to solve problems, but IBM's new Eagle processor more than doubles that by stringing together 127. Google, USTC, and IBM are more focused on backing on the superconducting qubits technology due to the progress in quantum computing in recent years. In 2019, Google announced that they had achieved quantum supremacy through its Sycamore processor, which uses the same superconducting architecture that IBM is working with, which operates 54 qubits. However, Zhuchongxi superconducting processor from the University of Science and Technology of China has beaten it that uses 60 qubit demonstration. Leaving behind all these processors, IBM's 127 qubit Eagle processor now takes the top spot and has finally broken the quantum world's 100 qubit barrier, which scientists have been working to beat for years. It is the largest and most powerful superconducting quantum computer to be demonstrated. Eagle is the stepping stone to bigger machines with enough computation capacity to solve interesting problems. The arrival of the Eagle processor is a significant step towards the day when quantum computers can outperform classical computers for practical applications. The Eagle quantum computer can beat the fastest supercomputers in the world in specific tasks and calculations. It can process information so complex that the work can't be done or simulated on a traditional computer. Eagle is based on a heavy hexagonal qubit layout where qubits connect with two or three neighbors. This particular connectivity decreased the potential for errors caused by interactions between neighboring qubits, which significantly boosts yielding functional processors. The new techniques leveraged within Eagle place control wiring on multiple physical levels within the processor while keeping the qubits on a single layer, enabling a significant increase in qubits. The increased qubit count will allow users to explore problems at a new level of complexity when undertaking experiments and running applications. IBM also previewed plans for IBM Quantum System 2, the next generation of quantum systems. IBM is continuously working to push the quality and speed of processors by benchmarking their quantum volume and scaling the chips to unveil soon a concept for the future of quantum computing systems, which they expect to be matured beyond the infrastructure of a current quantum system. With this new system, they are giving flexibility to their hardware to continue to increase the scale of chips. The new system introduces a new generation of scalable qubit control electronics together with higher density cryogenic components and cabling. IBM Quantum System 2 is designed to work with IBM's future 433 qubit called Osprey and 1121 qubit processors known as Condor. The plan includes building intermediate sized machines of 433 and 1000 qubits in 2022 and 2023 respectively and predicts following up with a million qubit machine at some unspecified date. 
A 1,000 qubit machine is a significant milestone in developing a full-fledged quantum computer. Such a machine would still be 1,000 times too small to fulfill quantum computing's full potential, such as breaking current internet encryption schemes. Still, it would be big enough to spot and correct the numerous errors that outbreak the quantum bits. For such bigger chips and high-density connections down the road, the team thinks that the current single chandelier system might not be enough to keep the entire system cool. So the System 1 container that houses their current chandelier cryostat is due for an upgrade. Thus, more space for the cryogenic environment is needed, and for that, they are partnering with Blue Fours to imagine what that type of larger and more usable fridge space is going to look like. IBM Quantum is developing systems with sufficient quantum volume to demonstrate an advantage in real-world applications. The noise about their supercomputers is blazingly fast, but do you wonder what these things actually do, and what are its real-world applications? These quantum computers could reach beyond today's limits to design new solar panels, lower airplane fuel usage, speed up artificial intelligence, improve financial investing, and cut delivery costs. Such massive computing power could have equally impressive consequences for business. Perhaps quantum computing's most potential lies in artificial intelligence, where it could make data analysis faster and more accurate, as many companies rely on AI for critical tasks, such as helping fight fraud to detect irregular stock market activity, applications we see in voice, image, and handwriting recognition, and that's where quantum computing can help in processing through complex problems in significantly less time, which would have taken traditional computers thousands of years. Quantum computing can also be an effective way of understanding drugs and their reactions on humans, which, in turn, can save a ton of money and time for drug companies. Quantum computing, with the help of machine learning, can help in developing various techniques to combat cybersecurity threats, which has continued to be an essential concern around the world. Additionally, this also helps in analyzing weather conditions in no time and with excellent accuracy, which traditional computers can sometimes take longer. VP at IBM Quantum said, Our goal is to achieve something that we call quantum, which is doing something that's cheaper, faster, and more accurate than what can be done classically. We don't want to reinvent programming or computers. We want to work out how quantum computing will be embedded into where developers already are and just accelerate what they're doing. Breaking the 100 qubit barrier is an incredible achievement from the IBM quantum team. Despite the milestone, the commercialization of quantum computing is still a ways away, but it is evident that the race has begun. So what do you think about IBM's quantum supremacy? Let us know in the comments, and we would love to have your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you.